This came out today, 2nd July 2020. The title is Our Mental Health During COVID-19. According to the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, there has so far been half a million deaths and 10 million people infected with COVID-19 globally. The recent statistics indicate the downward slope of the pandemic peak in the UK with a total of 43,575 deaths behind the USA and Brazil, which sadly still have increasing infections and death toll. History records the worst pandemics of the past. HIV AIDS deaths were at a peak in 2004 and has killed 38 million people. The Spanish flu, also known as the 1918 flu pandemic, infected 500 million people within two years, which was a third of the world's population at that time and killed around 50 million people. The Black Death was caused by pebonic plague in the years 1346 to 1353 and killed around 200 million people across Europe, Asia and Africa. In comparison to these pandemics, COVID-19 is less severe in terms of infection and death toll. But what makes it so different is the media attention it has generated and the impact on people's mental health. Needless to say, its effect on the economy and other related sectors is catastrophic. The global pandemic is the breaking news in every country's main news channels. Thanks to the advanced mass media technology and new knowledge about the virus, clinical trials, vaccine development, the daily death toll, infection rates, the required safety and preventive measures, is widely shared with the public almost from the very moment it is generated by medical professionals and political leaders. However, the cascade of mixed news almost every day raises the question about our overall coping abilities. Many in the mental health profession, including myself, have observed how the COVID-19 information aired in the mass media can bring momentary relief with the news about the clinical and vaccine trial attempts but leave the viewers in a prolonged panic and depression, especially when hearing about the rapid increase of infection and death toll. In spite of the 17,000 fines for lockdown breaches issued by the police, people are still flocking to beaches in their thousands. This indicates the difficulty in managing the prolonged panic, loneliness, worry and depression in comparison to suffering from the virus itself. We seem to be resorting to unhealthy coping mechanisms. Research carried out by King's College London reveals that nearly a third of the British public is drinking more alcohol during this pandemic than usual. Alcohol fuels mental health issues, including aggression and violence. The UN reports a 20% increase in domestic abuse and calls this a shadow pandemic alongside COVID-19. Although our police in the UK seem to be coping with the stress of the pandemic relatively well, the reports of police brutality throughout the world are shocking. The killing of George Floyd in the USA and the custodial torture and death of a father and son, Jairaj and Phoenix, by the Indian police are two of the examples of disproportionate response fueled generally by mental disorder. Many of those who have tuned into our online Zoom masses have expressed how comforting psychologically it is to be part of the interactive services. We have a back cloth with a virtual tour of the wonders of the world, which I consider to be a very healthy coping strategy at this time in the pandemic. If any reader feels curious about our virtual tour and services, you are most welcome to tune into our Zoom. Details on how to access are on our website www.sinbonifacechurch.co.uk.